Hey what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are going to be doing a spoiler free review for the brand new movie Bullet Train. This was a movie that caught my attention a few months ago in trailers. It just looked like it was an action packed thrill ride and it just looked like it was going to be a lot of fun. And what do you know it was. I really really enjoyed this movie and I can't wait to talk about it with you guys in this review. So the film is directed by David Leach and it stars Brad Pitt as an assassin with the nickname Ladybug. He thinks he's a very unlucky assassin because of how things have went in his previous jobs and he's also trying to do things peacefully now because in the past he was very very aggressive and just very violent and now he's trying to like change his ways he's trying to be more peaceful he's trying to talk things out instead of just going out and murdering people it was really interesting to see how his character interacts with other violent characters meaning assassins after he's decided to kind of like change his ways and just be very very calm but yeah essentially this movie is about five assassins on a bullet train unfortunately I can't really talk about what the reasons are because in the trailers they don't even address them which I kind of liked because when I went into this movie I didn't really know what was going to happen and I was pleasantly surprised because it's one of those movies where there's a whole bunch of different characters and they relate to each other in different ways but they're all in one location but for different reasons so it was really interesting to see why everyone was there and how they tied together to make this story happen and speaking of those characters they were the best part of the movie in my opinion I don't really think the story was you know like above and beyond anything spectacular or amazing but it was the characters in this movie that really drove it from start to finish you've got Brad Pitt's character who is just super charismatic really funny and just an overall joy to watch on screen then you've got the assassins Tangerine and Lemon played by Aaron Taylor Johnson and Brian Tyree Henry next to Brad Pitt I would say those are probably my favorite characters in the whole movie they were just so funny their relationship in the movie was just super fun to explore and they're actually brothers too which made it a little bit more interesting and then there is a ton more characters in this movie that a lot of them weren't even revealed in any posters or trailers or anything so a lot of them were surprise cameos and there is a lot of them like there is I think probably like eight to ten different characters that I just had no idea were even in the movie now besides the characters what I really liked about this film was the action and the comedy I think that's what made it such an enjoyable watch for me because the whole time I was either laughing or just watching like a really cool action scene and overall it was just a very very good time it was very exciting it really captivated me into this movie and another interesting part about the movie is that I would say like 95% of it is on the bullet train like I was expecting them to go to different locations get off the train and like have you know 15 20 minutes somewhere then get back on the train but no this whole movie essentially takes place on this train which I thought was really cool and another positive that I have for bullet train is the pace of the movie it is just a fast-paced thriller and it's very very enjoyable there was never a moment where I was like you know what I'm getting kind of bored or check the time or something no I was locked in I was watching this thing for real so besides the great characters the great comedy the great action and the mystery too because honestly before you go into this movie I would say like 99% of the people that paid to get a ticket don't even know what they're about to watch which I really really liked because I find a lot of trailers nowadays you can kind of piece together like the entire movie but this one I definitely couldn't and I really liked watching this movie and seeing the story just unravel now yes I really enjoyed watching this thing but there was obviously some negatives as pretty much every movie will have my first negative is I would say the third act it just kind of slowed down a bit but it was still entertaining don't get me wrong personally the movie just kind of came to that third act and I honestly thought it was done but then they're like nope there's like a whole other thing that we're gonna explore right now for the last 30 minutes of the film which I thought was fine but the pacing of that transition to that third act I felt was kind of wonky but I did still enjoy enjoyed it's not like it went to that third act and then the movie just went off the rails no pun intended and the other negative that I have with this movie is I would say the story could have been a little bit better like I think it was totally fine like it served its purpose and everything but I just wish it was a little bit more elaborate a little bit more intricate a little bit more interesting I would say it was pretty straightforward besides a few surprises but nonetheless I did enjoy it I just wish it wasn't as shallow and I wish it was a little bit more deeper I guess is what I'm trying to say like maybe explore some of the backstories on some of the other characters like Brad Pitt's character for example we don't really get to know that much about him but maybe in a sequel we will I don't really know because I definitely think they want to get a bullet train 2 going and then my last negative I would say that I have with this movie is that there's a lot of uh fake deaths I guess is how I'll word it like you, there's a lot of people that you think are gonna die in this movie but then they don't and it kind of takes away from the story a bit because you're like oh this would be a huge death this would be a big impact 
attacked, but then it's just like, oh, they're alive. So maybe having some of those deaths just really stick and actually become a thing would have made the movie a little bit better to raise the stakes and actually keep them there. Because I would say throughout the movie, like characters definitely look like they're about to die, but then they just keep living. Or you think a character actually is dead, but then they're actually not. That's really the only other negative that I have with this movie. Other than that, I had a great time. It was a great watch. It was just a joy from start to finish, to be completely honest. And it's one of those hidden gem movies because I don't think a lot of people really know what they're getting themselves into before they go see this thing. But then everyone that I've talked to that went and saw it, after they watch it, they're like, damn, that was a really, really good movie. So guys, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and give Bullet Train a 7 out of 10. It's a good movie. It's a lot of fun. You should definitely go see it in the theaters. I 100% think that Bullet Train is going to get a sequel because of how good the audience reaction has been to this movie. And I am definitely one of those people. Like, this is one of my favorite movies that I've seen all summer. The characters just really did it for me in this movie. They were just all likable. They all had something about them that was just really, really interesting. And it definitely carried the movie because, like I said, the story wasn't something amazing. So what you need to do is have amazing actors and characters to bring that story to the finish line. And they definitely accomplished that because this movie is a great movie. So guys, if you have watched Bullet Train, leave a comment down below of what you guys think about the movie. And one more thing, there is a post credit scene, or I guess more of like a mid credit scene, and it's actually hilarious, so make sure you stay through a bit of the credits to see that one. Other than that though, guys, thank you for watching this review of Bullet Train. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe. I've got a ton of reviews coming. My next one is going to be Prey, which is the latest installment in the Predator franchise. Spoiler alert, that movie is fantastic. But uh, yeah, thank you again for watching the video, guys. I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next video.